when the fax lyrics arrived, the first thing we did is we ran them in parallel against the fax cantos that we were currently using in the laboratory. We did this for all of the tests uh, individually, but we started with the highest throughput tests first, so things like the HLAs. Um, with the HLAs, we ran in excess of 500 patients, and we plotted those on a graph, and we checked the correlation coefficient to make sure they were performing well, checked the CVs, and they were all excellent. The lyrics were performing, outperforming the cantos when they first arrived. Uh, we then moved on to like the lymphocyte subsets, and we checked for CD3, 4, 8, 16, 19, 20. Um, and we measured the standard deviations and the correlation coefficients with those, about 150 patients there. And then we moved on to immunof malignancy immunophenotyping. Uh, we ran in excess of 20 patients there. Uh, we got excellent correlation between um, what we were getting on the canto and what we were getting on each individual lyric. The way in which the machines work, the CST beads set up for the cantos and the lyrics, and then with the tube settings, it worked excellent with the actual setup of the machine. So we didn't have much in the way of a challenge between like getting the actual assays to set up and work and run. The CVs are fantastic. Um, I think I did some data correlation and we had CVs of 0.02% on some of our subsets for the CD3, CD4s. We've got correlation coefficients of you know, 0.99 and 0.98. So they're, they're very, very specific and precise with their testing, which is excellent. Um, it means that we're getting better results overall. Um, the machines themselves handle really well and perform really well. Um, they actually have no wet cart, which is fantastic. So with no wet cart, the noise in here, as much as it sound, might sound silly, is actually greatly reduced, which creates a much nicer and calmer work environment because previously the cantos were extremely loud.